This Honda Beat, very rare on the floor, Fiat 500. Then you might recognise this car, but it's got a different engine in. Really nice setup. We've got the intake here. I love the white on white. Bodge not bought. Volvo are bragging back in the day that this car's got a catalytic converter. <laughs> This video is sponsored by Stay Loyal, an out and out automotive brand created by yours truly. Check out our website. Hi guys, welcome back to another video back on the Driven 24-7 automotive YouTube channel. You have to excuse the road noise because we're next to a busy road. But today we're at the Clearway Garage, as promised, for my Driven 24-7 meet. A new location, the guy that owns this place, runs this place, so we know him and the family. They kind of reached out to us, we know them, they said, hey, Amber, do you want to have a hold of meet here? I was like, sure thing. So the sun is out. You've got about 20 plus cars here. So it's always a bit risky when you go to a new location for a meet. But we've got people that have turned up to my meets before, people that haven't. So it's all really exciting. Got a cafe on site serving lovely food. Just had a nice sausage bath. Most importantly, let's show you what's here at the moment. Meet start at 10. It's about 10 past 11 now. So we've been here for an hour. I'm not really expecting anything else to turn up. But it's a great thing about holding meat. You just never know. So let's show you around. So we've got a used car forecourt, so we'll forget that. But here are the cars on show. We've got the father and son duo who have come all the way from Kent. They always come to my meets and they've come to this one. So this is, uh, we're gonna call it the dad's whip. This is his Ford Mondeo with the two-tone on it. He's done that himself. Well, he's had it done to the car, not as standard. Tinted lights. Yeah, I really like seeing this car and the color in the sun. It's like a pearlescent white, very, very nice. The black wheels. Love this. See, a really nice looking car. It's just different, and that's what we're all about here. As a family, we've turned up in a few cars. So, my parents and my auntie have turned up in my parents' modified above 595 Competizione. My dad cleaned it late last night. Got the convertible roof open, of course, just to show off the uh, carbon fiber there on the save out seats on the comp. So, we've got this here. And then we've got the Fuel Power, Jake from the Fuel Power YouTube channel is here in his Pogo. Pogo is the name of his Fiat Panda 100 horsepower. Nice to see him here again. I go to his meets when I can and he comes to mine. So yeah, sharing the love. Much appreciated, Jake. Thank you very much. Then we have Joseph over there, who's turned up in his lovely, very beige, or we're calling it gold. We're not too sure, it's a debate. But he's got his very nice low mileage Volvo 460 GLE here. Uh, the hub caps are going to come off apparently soon just looking a bit worse for wear as they say but we've got a little right up there automatic uh, 56,000 miles i think on the clock good job he's got the sunroof open today you got the beige leather as well just love how boxy this is and i really like the sloping but small rear window so yeah really like it and volvo are bragging back in the day that this car's got a catalytic converter so yeah, really nice to have Joseph here, a fellow YouTuber from Lloyd Vehicle Consulting YouTube channel. So this Honda Beat, we did a bit of car spotting, it flew past early and we thought, God, coming in, we we're joking, but it actually has. So this guy was actually at um, a previous meet of Fuel Powers and then he followed me through the Fuel Power channel. So thanks, Jake. This Honda Beat, very rare, 600 odd cc engine. Look at the wheels. The owner hasn't had this car very long at all. Loving the kind of zebra print on the seats. We got the uh, speakers on the dash. So, so cool. Look at the dials as well. Tiny little Momo steering wheel. Manual screen for your uh, heating controls, I suppose. I love those seats. You got a Honda Beat kind of wing deflector there. But looking very nice in the red today. The roof down in the sunshine. So, so cute. Really, really like this. Look at the little exhaust as well. Yeah, very cool to have this here. Toyota Passios are also turned up. I haven't seen these guys before. I haven't seen this car before, I don't think, but really nice to have these guys here. It looks like a Passio SI in a really nice kind of gray purple um, metallic. We've got a bit of flake going on in the sunshine. Fan of my old Toyotas, I've had a few before. Always fancied a Passio ever since I've known about them, but yeah, just gone on to Hondas now, basically. But still a nice Jap car. We've got to show some appreciation. Looks pretty original. Speaks in the uh, parcel shelf there. My reflection moves out the way. Kind of cool print on the interior. Manual as well. White sporty clocks. Andrew's here repping the Driven 24-7 t-shirt. Last time you came to my meet you are in a Dacia and you said you're going to buy in a bath and you have. 
Yep, I've gone in the bath. And we'll show you uh, guys around it in a little while. But yeah, thanks for coming again, Andrew. No problem. We'll look at your car for sure, don't worry. Limited edition, a bar 595 Scorpiano edition. I've seen this one before at the uh, Bowder of Bath meets. The guy follows me on YouTube and obviously he's here today. So appreciate that. Got a few of baths here as well, but obviously this is a special limited edition one. I'm going to say that a couple of times. Port Martin. Would you like a cold drink, darling? Then I've turned up in my Honda logo and there was a chap on my YouTube saying he'll bring his logo. I think it was on YouTube and he has. So this one, uh, not only is it rocking two different coloured wheels, but it's got a different engine in out of another Honda. I think it was a D16, I think he said. So yeah, it's definitely not a standard logo engine. We've got the intake in there. Lowered on coilovers as well from Japan. Front bumper lip, different side repeaters. It's got a different interior, like different steering wheel, and we've got a rear seat delete. And rocking the rear spoiler. Yeah, so pretty mad to not only have one of them here, as in mine, but to have two, both the same colour as well, both quite modified, well this one more so than mine, but yeah, quite cool to have these two together. And we have Joseph there from Lloyd's Vehicle Consulting, Martin, my other half, brought down this Fiesta Z-Tech S today, my brother just bought this Porsche, and he's brought this down today, so very nice, got a panoramic roof, I haven't even looked around it yet guys, just been busy hosting and entertaining, you know. SRL Photography, that's his username. Sean has come along on his Puma ST. Seen us a few times, seen Sean a few times. Appreciate him coming along. He's gone for a bit of a mound tune. We've got the intake here, nice carbon effect. Mound tune, orange pipe work as well. The car's also been remapped. Mean green, Puma ST. Nice looking car. He hasn't had it all that long, but he does use it. He does drive it. And he's obviously starting to modify it as well. Got the panoramic roof open, very jealous lovely looking car. McCauley's turned up in his Corolla T-Sport. Haven't seen this for a while. Really liking the gunmetal wheels to match the paintwork. Nice big Ram Air sticker. McCauley again has been a long-term follower, supporter of what I do, so nice to have him at another one of my meets. He usually does come along to be fair. Loving the TT spoiler. I had one of those on my Toyota style I had not so long ago. Yeah, really like this. I did have one of these as well. Jeez. Nearly forgot. We got the not just lowered, but absolutely bagged on the floor for 500. Met this lady at a local bath meet, and yeah, she's kindly come along today. Oh my God, look at those huge tips. I've never noticed that before. Airlift set up there. And not only has she got a cool car, Japan racing wheels with side skirts, but her boyfriend's got a cool car as well. So check this out. Fiesta Finis, but yeah, really, really cool. Loving the, uh, wow, he's got two big pipes down there actually, and the uh, diffuser. Loving the wheels and the massive lug nuts, look at them. Interior is basic, but I like it. Got the double dim radio, got the sunroof popped up, so nice and kind of original there. And then onto the front, you can really see the stance of the car, the wheels, really nice setup. He's also painted the body colored moldings black. Smoke side repeaters, little uh, headlight eyebrows, I call them. Nice front splitter, really, really nice looking car. Retro, I love it, look at that. These two are a very cool couple, owning two really cool cars. And then over here, so we've got Tom. I showed you his dad one, dad's one day earlier, his dad's actually over there as well. So Tom's here and there's a modified bath. Comes to a lot of my meets all the way down from Kent to Salisbury today. So big dedication, support, I absolutely love it. We've got a front number plate delete, I think that's only for the show. And we've got the mini Mia bath there as well. Um, we've got Keith in his Integrale, a very big uh, favourite of mine and my dad. My dad just can't stop talking to Keith. Again, Keith usually comes to my meets in this or his orange retro Fiat. Didn't know Keith was coming. But lovely surprise to see him and out in the sunshine in his Lancia. So this lady owns this Swift and joint owns this car with her boyfriend. Modified Suzuki Swift, don't see many of these really done up. So we've got a bit of a black and purple theme. They are Type R wheels. We've got the kind of smoked headlights on there. I want to get one of these grab handles for my logo. Got the obsessed uh, windscreen banner on there. A bit of the purple touch on the wing deflector. Quite a tidy car. Might be keyless entry as well. But this thing also sounded good. Rear light tint. Yeah, this car did sound good coming in. Need to get one of those. <laughs> uh, wiper delete. Uh, done with a caffeine and machine sticker. Why not? Really want to go there, still haven't. Nice spoiler. Don't know if it's a sport, but you know, it's still, oh, I might be actually. 
The black seats with the red inserts. This Porsche's just turned up. I'm not too sure who owns it. They're definitely welcome here. So we've got two Porsches here now. We've got to have the roof down on a sunny day like this. Very nice indeed. Next to Bend, uh, Molten Orange, I think it is, Fiesta ST. This is definitely the colour to have on this shape. ST, I'd say. Look at that in the sun. Very, very nice. And we've got a, a TRC front splitter on there. <laughs> you what Ben, great plate. The normal ST wheels on there. Let's have a look around the rear. Mill tickets all system, popular for the STs. Then we've got another Fiesta ST here. This is uh, Ben's girlfriend. Just check out that kind of silver carbon fiber vented bonnet there. Tinted headlights, wheels in pretty good condition. Got a silver and blue, I think, theme going on. Black leather STs with blue cloth in the middle. Loving the blue on the dash, really like that. Look at these. Really, really nice. I really like this shape ST, to be fair. Big exhaust. Yeah, another couple with cool cars. Brian, the owner of this land, has brought up the VW. He's also, I see he's popped the bonnet actually. I said to him, can you bring up the Bentley? Uh, if you click on the card above, I, he took me drifting in this in the back of his field, so that's pretty cool. I'm not lying either. <laughs> One absolute barge. And then he's also brought up his Morris Minor, bit of a project, but obviously it does run. It did drive up here. Brian's and uh, contribution to the meet. We've got the Moggy, the Bentley and the V-Dub. Then you might recognise this car. We've got Charlie and her three kiddies and her other half here today. So nice family outing for them. If you haven't already seen the feature video I did on Charlie's mad, heavily modified Civic, which she's done a lot of stuff to this car herself, then do check it out. Click on the card above. Really nice that she's come out to show her support today by coming to this meet. She didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what to expect. I've never held a meet here before. Really pleased to have her along and her family. So nice one. And of course, Charlie's got that mad engine bay on show, hasn't she? <laughs> and then Andrew, just going to weirdly zoom into him there. You can see as we look at him. This is his recently purchased a bath. So he came to one of my other meets. I held at a pub <laughs> and he had a Dacia. And he said he's going to buy in a bath and uh, he has. He stuck to his word. So he has put the white SS wheels on. They didn't come with his car as standard. This is the uh, standard 145 horsepower model of bath. Then he's also gone for the rim blades came with the wheels, but I like him as a styling thing. They do their job anyway. We've got the red bath mud flaps on there. He's got big plans for this car. I hope he doesn't mind me saying there's a livery going on and then he plans to kind of sort out the kind of brakes and suspension and then go for the kind of power mod. He's just bought it, but it's really done the wheels. I love the white on white and with the red rim blades and the red mud flaps. Appreciate Andrew coming. It's his second meet today. Bring the Abarth along when he said he was going to get one and here it is today. So it's nice to see it. So we spoke about the Swift, uh, the lady owns this Civic with her boyfriend as well. So we haven't had a look around this Civic yet. So really liking the wheels, they look brand new. Purple calipers, I like it very much. Paintwork, I think they're gonna sort out last. Focus on, I think the power and the modifications and then make it look pretty. No, actually I think it's the other way around. They're gonna make it look pretty and then do maybe an engine swap, etc. So I've been told. So let's just have a look in here. We've got cool boo, kind of retro looking bucket seats. Jeez, mad uh, Takata, you heard the brand but never seen a similar app before made by them so that's pretty cool like in the cup holders uh, we've got a big shifter there we've got a stripped out uh rear as well we've got the uh harnesses recaro harnesses wow just look at that in there proper stripped out onto the harness bar we've got a vented bonnet which is popping right up and tight need to look at under here i like the uh engine cover we've got the uh, red with the yellow lettering silly things are out i like can't really talk you too much through it other than we've got a big ram air induction uh take our strut brace quite like that like a triangle a bit um yeah pretty mad under here loving the japanese plate got a big front splitter on there blacked out grill no light here whatsoever bodge not bought i mean built not bought sunroof and then we've got a spoiler and also retro driven 24 7 sticker wasn't expecting that thank you very much We did have a TVR turn up, but I didn't get around to filming it, so you just saw it there, just so uh, you know I wasn't lying. This must be a, a uh, Vauxhall Opal, hence the badge and the plate, but I've never seen one of these before. Very unusual, left-hand drives, so maybe it's from Australia or something. 
manual as well. Loving the rear, look at that. So yeah, just a great turnout. Obviously, we've had some really hot, sunny weather lately and it was going to be like out for my meat, which is a win-win. But with the kind of four-court petrol kind of uh, canopy, we had some shade as well. Really nice turnout of people, uh, people that I know from other meets or have come to my meet before, like loyal supporters, uh, followers of what I do, or I've met people that I haven't met before and that's what I like you get people that you know and people that you don't know that you now know um people buying from my stool appreciate that people buying my, my my hat and my stickers for their cars um great variety obviously my kind of background was the Italian above so we had a few Italian cars there we had a few modified cars which I absolutely love um and we had the modified Mark 4 Fiesta if I've got that right love that car he came with his girlfriend who had the uh, fit 500 on airbagged bag suspension airlift suspension yeah great turnout i uh, think the venue's going to work for another meet for sure with the food and the cafe uh, yeah it's just i want to kind of have my own kind of venue and be known for having that venue and i think that's what i might have now so yeah we'll definitely go back for sure to hold future meets there so if you like what you've seen and you haven't come for whatever reason couldn't come whatever um and you want to come again then we will be having another meet back at this same location obviously as i'm the organ squeaky breaks obviously as i was the event organizer uh, it's my job to make everyone feel welcome park on the vehicles uh kind of looking after the stall a bit as well my parents were i didn't get too much on video because i'm just so buzzing with the turnout and chatting to people that's my number one job then the youtube comes second when i hold a meet for sure so a big thank you to those that you came along a big thank you if you didn't come along but you're watching this video it's still you know show support for what i do so i appreciate that definitely making some friends now also nice to see charlie and their modified civic recently done a car feature on that i invited her to the meet and yeah she came along with her family as well so it's really really cool i met some great people today people i knew people i didn't know uh yeah it's been really good good turnout i hope you guys kind of get the kind of nice chilled vibes from my meet by watching this video and yeah thanks for watching thanks those that came bought for me and my stall thanks for watching the video there'll be another meet from me at that location in about three or four months or so thanks for watching this one